Dwight Howard had to go overseas. We look at Shaquille. Rashawn. Had to go overseas. Oh, We're seeing other, oh, you know, not other overseas. guys. overseas. Stop it. That's Taiwan. <laughs> What's going on there, guys? We back with another one, and we got Shaq coming at Dwight Howard again, man, on this podcast. And we've seen those two exchange words back and forth over the last decade. You know, Dwight was letting it go because Shaq was one of his heroes coming up. Obviously, you know, young big go to Orlando. Obviously, you know, he looked up to Shaq and um, him going to LA and all that, and winning the championship. You know. Um, Shaq calling himself Superman, Dwight doing the Superman dunk in the contest. It's like he tried to do things to make that relationship okay. And, you know, that, that's not what happened. So, um, the latest installment of the Shaq and Dwight Howard beef is pertaining to Dwight's record over there in Taiwan. Now, to contextualize what they were talking about, um, they were talking about bigs in the modern game. They were talking about like first they were talking about Melo as he has become more like a stretch four as he's gone up in age you know his ability to defend or move his feet on on the perimeter that just I mean he was never a great defender but you know with age it gets even more tough so he's like a, a stretch four at this point you know a mismatch four or whatever and then they got to talking about Tristan Thompson and those guys and um uh, Candace was like, you know, we see bigs that want to play and Dwight Howard, you know, uh, is playing overseas and Shaq laughed at that being overseas like, you know, Taiwan don't count or whatever. I'm going to let you hear what he had to say and I'll be back with my commentary. Check it out. The way the game is played today, yes, we need big bodies, but we need big bodies that can stretch the floor. Okay. So if I got a big body that can stretch the floor versus a big body that's just out there bruising and doing jump hooks, I'm probably go with the big guy that can stretch the floor and the guy that can rotate. No disrespect mm -hmm. to Tristan Thompson, but it's a different game. Four years ago when he was at Cleveland, he was, you know, playing that style of game. But now it's, you know, he ain't going to be able to guard Joker. He ain't going to be able to switch on, you know, marking and, you know, guys like that. Uh, we see yeah. a lot of guys that are bigs um, that want to play. I mean, we look. Dwight Howard had to go overseas. We look at Shaquille, Rashawn had to go overseas. Oh, yeah. We're seeing other, oh, you know, other overseas. guys. Stop it! That's Taiwan. <laughs> Yo, that's Stop. overseas. No, Shaquille, not. Rashawn. If oh, I check, you're going <laughs> overseas no, 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 to get there. No. So over S E A S overseas to get there. Is, is, is where you <laughs> S -E -A -S. Play. We ain't no overseas. No, no, no. Like it's overseas to get there. That's overseas. <laughs> that's not overseas. Stop it. And they have a losing record. That's crazy. I haven't listen. Ever since the first two games, I haven't kept up. Ever since the they internet was going crazy. Record. Have you been wow. keeping up, Shaquille? You know, Shaq. Somebody sent me. They have a losing record. I ain't losing Petty to nobody White. in Taiwan. How about Petty that? White. <laughs> now, ain't no, I ain't losing Dude, nobody in Taiwan. Petty. No, I ain't, I, ain't I ain't losing to nobody in Taiwan. That's I can't take you seriously with this wig. I'm not. I, I, can't. I, I Taiwan. You want to do it for Taiwan? But it's like please. a little askew, and it's like he's got that. So, remember Salt and Pepper in the 90s had the one side was long and one side was short. How do you have a losing short? record in Taiwan? Come on now. So that was Shaq's latest attack on Dwight, and that was completely unwarranted, man. You know, at this point, you know, Shaq, he'll say these type of things, right? Like he's trying to motivate these young players, or, well, Dwight's not young no more, but he's trying to, uh, motivate players that are currently trying to play and that he doesn't have any ill feelings towards them but he clearly does with Dwight Howard for some reason I mean maybe he felt jealous with how they felt about Dwight when he was in Orlando the Superman thing I mean I think it's ridiculous you know at this age that he's at now why feel that way about Dwight at this stage you know um you know he had something to say when he won the championship and he went on IG live to express how happy he was you know he called him a bench woman that didn't really contribute um he called him out for going to taiwan you know disrespecting the level of basketball that he's playing and now he's saying you know that they have a losing record well Shaq, at this point man i think everybody's tired because for one right your y'all situation ain't even like 
Isaiah Thomas and Michael Jordan, you know, where it was a legit thing at the time where it happened in real time. Y'all were directly competing against one another for championships. And it was a physical nature, you know, to the game where you had to have a strong dislike for your opponent to overcome them. This is some one-sided pettiness that you're harboring. And I think that's what makes it lame because to keep it real with you, I feel like a team like the Golden State Warriors for like the vet minimum to have a Dwight Howard. I mean, I, I think they should do that. But just for the simple fact, you remember um, back in the bubble, Dwight Howard, the way he defended Jokic in that series and the way he played against Jokic, that was very instrumental in them overcoming the Denver Nuggets. You know, they were one of the hottest teams in the bubble. And I feel like that was instrumental, and I feel like that's what Golden State 1,000% lacks. Would it hurt you to bring in Dwight Howard on a minimum deal, you know, going into the playoffs just for defensive purposes? I, I think he would be great for them. A rebounder, catch lobs, run the floor. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's still some use for him. I think some teams definitely need to look at getting them for this discount. And I 100, I 100% think Golden State is a team that should look at them. Um, now, one thing Dwight has been able to do, Shaq, is keep his body in shape to to give himself a chance to be meaningful for a team. Uh, deep into his 30s words you weren't I mean you were much better dominant player you were much greater dominant player than Dwight Howard uh, let's make no mistake about that but as far as you coming at him if you had like if you paid attention to your diet and took care of your body like he does you your um, dominance would have been extended over a greater period of time so I feel like this is petty and I saw Candace and all of those people trying to walk him off of that cliff. I mean, he goes down that Dwight Howard rabbit hole and he just stays with it, man. I, I really don't get it at this age, you know, um, someone who's never done anything to you. and You just disrespect this man over and over and over. So it has to be something personal. We don't know about it at this point. Or he's just the pettiest dude of all time. And this is why people like Donovan Mitchell and others become offended. They see the way you stay on Dwight Howard and you just harbor on him so strong. And then you try to criticize these young guys. That's what makes them snappy. They saw what you did. And so and they take a mental note and they like, if this dude ever come at me, I got to stand my ground because he, he kind of uses bully tactics on the younger players. I mean, this is how they perceive it in their mind, you know. And I can't say I blame them for that, man. Lay off Dwight Howard. He's not bothering you. He's over there in the corner somewhere. He's he's tucked off playing his basketball in China, continuing his professional basketball career. And he out the way, man. I don't like when uh someone goes and they mess with someone that's over there out the way that's not bothering nobody you know not even thinking about you and you keep attaching your name to this person for what reason there's just got to be something that's not happy within him i feel like man but let me know what you guys think in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time peace